Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Number Factory, GTC EU Hard Mode. Okay, so here we are today in episode 116, and last episode we had just gone into Neutronium, and I think I mentioned that I was going to start working on... Where did I put that thing? Uh, bulk chiller, Tritanium, EBF, and Terranium fusing, Neutronium, and Tier 8. Um, so basically between... Last episode in this, it's only been like an hour or two. I have started recording freshly after the older episode. So I kind of started to do some of the recipe setup for the field generators and also the emitters here. Because as you'll see, the field generator require wait, oh. The field generator requires the emitter. Also requires enriched Naquita Trinium Europium Duranide wire. We did have this. I just needed to do the fine recipe wire. Uh, also, grab the stars. I went and set up a f system that will melt down some of the neutronium that we have in ingot form and store it into an autoclave. And then once we give it another star, it will pop out the gravel star. And beyond that, we need to get the terranium fusing so that we can make the field generator. Right. Woo. We can make the field generator so that we can. Oh, is it not? Okay, you can make it in the assembler. So we can make that. Uh, I did notice how we're going to be needing the UV field generators for the stabilizer. I mean, the stabilized microminer. But that's going to require Omnium. And that Omnium will probably be the most annoying. Well, and the fact that we need tier 10. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit ways out still. In fact, we're going to need a lot of field generators. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So let's go over here. And it's going to show off some of the work that I did off camera. Small stuff. So we have the Tritanium EBF right here. And this is processing our Ruthenium, Tritanium, and Mericium neut Neutrinate ingots. And, you know, I probably don't need that much. So, yeah, like all my other machines, it's handling the dust and it, we're feeding it neon. So we got that going for us. So, yeah, that's going to be making us that material. I don't think we're going to need too much of that, but then again, I'm not sure completely. Okay, so UV. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I need to do one more thing. Um, so where's my LUV tower? Okay, so I set this up in preparation for the episode today. So we have a centrifuge of an LUV type. We have a magnetron and a cryothium dust. And the only thing missing here is the terranium plasma. Uh, so let me go ahead now, and I'm going to pop this in there. Oh, you know what? I don't think I exposed the fluid to our system. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to go back home. I'm going to drop down to the reactor room. Okay, yeah, there it is. So let me go ahead and make a bus. Okay, and then we'll pop back over here. Okay, oh, nope. All right, so there we go. Our terranium dust and some inert residue. Now with the terranium dust, we're going to need another titanium. Shit, okay. Let me go ahead and request some titanium, and I'm probably going to have to pause between... Uh, in, in this episode so that we can process the terranium. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get a interface here and a wrench in my hand and bing, bang, bada, boom, output. So my question is, is the inert being handled? I think it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's going to process all of our plasma into the dust. And now, you know what, uh, before we do anything else, let me go ahead and put this shit on the wall. 
Now, when we fuse the, or uh, heat this up, we get the hot ingot, of course, and then we get the terranium ingot. No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, so we do need to heat it up, and then we melt it down into the fluid. And then from there, we'll pipe it into our EBF or our assembly line so that we can make the field generator. Okay, so that's going to take a bit, I believe. How much of a bit are we talking here? At least 45 seconds per, because I'm pretty sure our assembly down there is UV. Okay, um, I want to check something. Rock breaker. I don't think there is... Wait, hold huh? on, let me do it this way. I do granite. Rock breaker, chiseling, igneous extrude. Yeah, okay, there's no way to make a GCYM machine. I don't think. So we are pretty much stuck with these machines. Uh, I mean, this already makes it stupidly fast, but the PRAs is what allows us to make in bulk. Okay, so I'm going to do a little posy pause, and then I want to come back when we get the titanium. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and request another IBF package. And what the heck is making that noise? Something in here. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to take a pause here and I will be back in a few. Hey, everybody. We are back. Okay. So I've got the third EBF built up here and thankfully we don't even need to worry about a LVU an LV input hatch for fluid we just need to worry about the input bus and considering uh that we don't really need to worry about how much we make I'm just gonna dump the whole thing inside and uh we'll be good to go so let's see I need that I need that uh Rick okay cable there you go. Okay, I guess we'll do this, and then it gets like that. Fine, sure. Okay, so boom. Oh man, sorry, my nose is killing me. Okay, so that is cooking. That's gonna take sixty-six seconds, and if I really wanted to, I could bump this up to a four amp of LUV, and then that would that would technically make it ZPM, I believe. And that would take thirty-three seconds, but you know, I'm not really in a huge. God dang it. Not really in a huge hurry. Um, there we go. Okay, so gonna wait for that to pop, and we're gonna need at least. Well, I think it was like four ingots worth. No, uh, yes, I think it was four ingots. Two generators, two fifty six or whatever it was, two eighty eight. Hold on, let me just do this. Yeah, two eighty eight. So yeah, four ingots for the chiller, and I'm probably gonna be making two of these actually. Um, maybe not both in today's episode, but at least the one, and we will get that set up with, um, another air, I mean, under air, and then off camera, I'll be making one for another air. And, uh, actually, let me remind myself, why do I need an abundance of another air? I'm pretty sure I do, but why? Uh, neon for one thing, I guess. I mean, I don't know how much neon I'm going to really need. <laughs> um, hydrogen sulfide. I mean, more hydrogen is always nice. I mean, why not? Anyway, um, how much how much do we have of the terranium? Only one so far. Okay. Well, there's a quest complete. And there's a video thumbnail. Okay, so guess let me teleport 
Uh, IV towers. No, I should have an extractor. There it is. Okay. So there's our first ingot worth of the terranium. And honestly, you know, I'm kind of tempted now to go and put the 4 amp in there. Um, but, I mean, I could just easily pause and then come back when I have the fourth ingot worth. Uh, I think everything else has been, oops, everything else has been accounted for, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Let me set this here so I can go up, come back easily. <laughs> um, bulk. Yeah, everything is good to go otherwise. I have everything that I need crafted or craftable. The only other thing that I'm going to be worrying about, excuse me, is all these blocks and not really too much to worry about, honestly. Uh, the frost proof casings, not that big a deal. Defense, excuse me. Do I even have, oh gosh, sorry. Okay, I do have defense, good. Um, how much of that do we need again? 12? Okay, so I'll get that going. And then, how much was the other one? The um, frost casings, I need 154. Frost. Uh, 154 minus 21, 133. And, oh. Uh, do, there we go. And the other thing... Tempered glass, oh, tungsten steel pipe casing. Tungsten steel pipe casing, it does exist. Do I have a craftable? Yes. How many did I need again? I think it was like 76, right? Four, okay. So I will get these crafts going. And then, do we have any more terrarium? We do. Probably we'll cut again. And get all this going. There's our third ingot. And we're just going to wait for that last terranium. There it is. And bing, bang, bada, boom. Okay. Nope, no, gotta stop doing that. Go home. Let's drop down. Down. And one thing that I should probably do. Um, wrong room. Is on my assembly line here. Because I'm kind of having, was it two of these already? I should make the... I already made it, apparently. Uh, I should replace the non the hatches with a non-nupal... Non-nupal? non, -nupal, non -nupal? I hate that word. It's weird. A non input hatch. So we only have to worry about one casing. <laughs> okay, so... That's filled up. That's not. So let me go ahead and put the terrarium in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. I don't think we should have any issues crafting this. Everything looks solid. All right. So, yeah, this is where I am going to pause again. And I will come back once we have the chiller. Actually, before I pause, before I go, let me see something. Because this is going to be a big boy block. It's going to be at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks wide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11 by 6. So. I might. Oh, give me a second here. I might. Uh, oops, let me go here. Um, yeah, you know what? I might push this wall back and put it in here. Like maybe put one on this side, then one on this side. Any case, uh, yeah, I will pause here. Uh, you know what? Oh, well, once I get the, ch the bulk chiller going, I can get rid of this thing. But, um, yeah, anyway, I will pause here and I'll be back. See you shortly. Hey everybody. All right, we are back and I think we can build this out. 
Okay, so whew. we got the blast chiller here, and let's see. We need to start. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, so let's see. I am gonna need frost. Okay. Oh, so let's see. I want to do something like. That right, and I'm gonna need five blocks and then inward. So, and then clean stainless steel casings one, two, three, and then that's gonna be five down. So one, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure that was. Free wide, yeah. Something like that. And then on that side, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then it looks like it just has a flat edge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I guess it kind of beats up here. Okay, let's see. So the uh, tungsten steel pipe casings look like uh, there's a four, a, like a four sign with like dice. Pipe, pipe, there we go. You know, I should probably just like get a screenshot of this. So now with that in mind, the control block would go middle here. Okay. I think. All right. Um, vent. One, three. One, two, three. Like so. Now is it? Oh, did I not get enough vents? What the heck? I'm gonna need more of those. Oops, not that. Vent. Uh, okay, that might take a bit of time. Molybdenum decilocide. Okay, so while that crafts back to my chart, um, still in the front view, but uh, glass, glass. Let's see, one, two. Three. Like that. And then casings again. Get it again. Good block. Okay. I'm assuming there's something like this. Like so. 
And then uh, this side, I'm down like so. Works, I guess. Um, I guess I'll build up the wall on this side. Okay, and then from what I understand, oh, I don't have the heat vents yet, do I? I have enough. And then from what I understand, did I request too many of these? Maybe not. Uh, anyway, I just think the inside of the chamber here is going to need the Tunks and steel pipe casings. That looks good there. I think this side here. Oh, not finished yet. Okay, that side is finished now. Now, I'm going to need to probably pause to look at the inside. Oh, I'm going to need to pause for something else in a minute here. But. That looks pretty dandy. So, backside is all wall. And then, let's see, on the inside, flat casing. Okay. And Okay, so basically, it's kind of like this, I think. Oh, you know what? I believe these pipe casings go in the middle, the middle here. Question is... Okay, so I need that, and then straight on up, I just have, casings. Where did my other, what? Where did my vents go? Hello? Did I put the wrong vents in there? Okay, what the hell? I think I'm losing them for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna build out the rest of this thing and I'll be right back, All right? See you shortly. Hey everybody, we are back. So I got the thing built. I had to do with like basically layer by layer because it was rather confusing to figure out. But in any case, here is our bulk chiller. Now I'm still trying to figure out the whole overclocking thing, but I gave it a ZPM energy hatch. From my notes here, let's say we have in one amp recipe of IV here. If we give it a 16 times control hatch, which we have, if we give it a ZPM hatch or 4 amp LUV, it will parallelize but not overclock. But if we use a 4 AIV, 4 amp IV or a 1 amp LUV hatch, it will parallel up to the control hatch size but not overclock. Although I'm not sure if my notes are right. I may have to go back to the Discord and make sure that those two things were correct. But in any case, uh, let's just see if we can get this to work. So I have 64 bucket hatches here because we're going to be doing, uh, I think it's 16 crafts, 16 times four, 64. And we are basically giving it, well, we, with our ZPM hatch, we're giving it, let's see, one times four. Wait. 
ZP, no, I, IV, the so one times four IV to LUV. So yeah, uh, we're effectively giving it 64 amps worth of IV, but I think it will overclock essentially. But um, let's just see what happens when we plug this in. I think I may know how to fix my notes. Uh, in any case, let's get this plugged in. That's the input, that's the output. Uh, I need to get my battery charged again. Face. Cable. Oh, there we go, cable. And do we have any more conduit? Yeah. Uh, okie dokie. So, that's the input. So, ender, ender air goes in there. And, do do do. All right. So, it looks like it's overclocking to one second. So yeah, it is overclocking and it's parallelizing. However, we need to kill the ender air supply production to our other furnaces or freezers here. So let's just kill as much as we can. So I need to kill the other uh, vacuum freezers, but this seems to be working. It looks like when it has enough fluid, it will go for the one second overclock. Otherwise it will go for the two. So but the thing about these blocks is that they will parallelize first and then they will overclock. So if it has the energy to overclock, it will go faster. Right. So, okay. Let me do this. I'm going to pop down here and I'm going to say bulk blast chiller ender. So that way when I go up to my fluid terminal, I won't accidentally get rid of the fluid there. So ender air. You see that's there. Get rid of ender air, ender air, ender air, ender air. Okay, I go back to the spot. It's filling up a lot quicker. And if I were to get rid of, say, this cable. One, two, four, five, six. About 24 buckets there worth. Might be throttling because... We don't have enough. One time. All right, so we're basically at the end of this episode, but this is a good start. Do we have, uh, let's see, a fluid terminal? Fluid terminal. Oh, wait. Liquid under air. Okay, so that's. Hold on. Let me just do that again. And it's hard to keep track of it. Um, so now that we have the ender air production. Oh, I need to get rid of, I need to oh, curses. Okay. Uh, Okay, so now that should eject. Now, that should be burning the ender air. I might want to overclock this. 
what are we filling the power with? LUV right now? But maybe give it like ZPM hatch too. But um okay. Oops, not that button. I go back to my base here. Ender air. So uh liquid ender air. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, let's get rid of that. And get rid of that and get rid of that. I hope that's not, I didn't fuck it up. But, um, let's just see what I, if I did. Okay, I did. So let's get that back in there, the ender here. And there we go. So now that should go back to cooking for us. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a good episode. So there are some things that I'm going to be doing. I got that done. I got that done. That done. I guess that done too. So I need to get IV Quantum Star Maker. And then also need to make a Greg... Regicality multi block to handle pipes for crafting because I was waiting on some tungsten steel and neutronium pipes earlier and it took forever. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably get that multi block done off camera. But for now, that's gonna be the episode. We are way over time. I hope you did enjoy and uh, I'll see you next time. That's all for now.